hope you've all had a really, really awesome week. I am back. Yes, I. One of my no, not like a New Year's resolution, but um, I really wanted to get into vlogging regularly because um, I have always have like these chunks of breaks um, but I really enjoy doing it so this is one of my like New Year's things is I'm just gonna plan more so here I am on time and um, I really wanted to talk to you all about my Make 9 2019 um, so and I also wanted to talk to you a little bit about my Make 9 2018 as well um, I did a vlog on that I'll try and link that in as well so just to start off with, I thought I'd just mention my Make 9 2018. So I managed to sew just three things on there. And that kind of got me to thinking about why, it got really deep. <laughs> um, why do I do Make 9 challenges? Why do I do this? Um, because I'm, I'm, I'm kind of okay with the fact that I didn't actually make that many things off of there. And then I kind of, my thinking was, I really enjoy doing it. I like looking back um, to m me, my sewing self, one year ago, and kind of seeing how my style has sort of evolved and changed over that year, um, because there are certain things on my Make 9 2018 that I'm really not... I'd happily make them, but they're not like top of the to-do list, shall we say. So, and that's just how, how how it goes, I guess. We all change, and a year's kind of quite a long time. So, um, I find it interesting to sort of see how I've changed over a year anyway. And that's why I do it. So, um, from my list, from 2018, the things I did manage to make were um, a Nina Lee Q dress, which I love. And I made, let me just check back. Sorry if you can hear Frankie, by the way. He sounds like a sort of a little mousy, squeaky meow, like meow, meow, meow. So I've made, um, oh yeah, Nina Lee Q dress. I am zebra jumper, my favorite jumper, uh, which I've made two of actually. And although one of them might have been in this year, so I don't know if that technically doesn't count, but anyway, I did make one for sure and a closet case Cali shirt dress. I did make one of those as well. So, and yeah, I've, I haven't made the other things, but I've made sort of substitutions of things as over the year. Like I've got um, a named, I think it's called pa Paula, pa Paula, like turtle, turtle neck top. Um, but I've made like a Tilly and the Buttons Freya instead of that so you know it's not as if uh, you know things things change as the years as the year goes so um yeah so I'm okay with that three three things that I made out of nine yeah good going Jen well done um so but more excitingly looking forward to my sewing for this year also sorry my voice sounds a little bit like this I am going to be honest, I was out late last night and I've put much concealer under my eyes so you can't, hopefully, can't <laughs> see the bags too badly. But I don't really go out. So being out until one in the morning, actually it might have been a bit later, two, no not two, half one, let's call it half one, is super late for me. I am the sort of person who gets to ten o'clock and can't keep my eyes open. I'm usually in bed between nine and ten, half nine, so. <laughs> anyway, so I the voice is a little bit gravelly um, because of the late night, so sorry about that. It was a good night though, had a really good time, so it was, it was worth it. Um, anyway, back to Make Nine 2019. Um, sorry, I digress. Again, for this vlog, going back to how I'm trying to plan a little bit better. I've uh, written a list. Usually I do these vlogs and it's a little, it's just off the cuff sort of thing and I'll just probably ramble on a bit too much and go off on crazy tangents but now I'm uh, getting into writing lists and reading from them on my vlogs so I hope you enjoy that. Um, <laughs> 
So I'm just going to kick off and just jump in with starting um, at number one. Um, I really want to make a paper cut patterns Sierra jumpsuit, the short version. And I guess this was me thinking about the summer and getting really excited about sunshine because it's so gloomy here. Not a great example of the gloominess today. It's actually a really nice day here today. It's really frosty and crisp and bright, which is perfect for filming. Anyway, um, so yeah, I, I could just see myself in um, one of the short jumpsuits in the summer. It just looks so just cool and a really nice summer summertime make. So that's kind of why I put that one on there because it got me excited about sunshine, which I don't think is a bad reason to have that on there. Second, um, so number two, I have the True Bias Lander Pants and these I've put on here completely because um, Eleanor from Randomly Happy loves her landers and I love her landers and she talks about them a lot so I've always had that on my sort of to-do list is I'd really like to try making them so they are firmly on there and I think they'd be the sort of thing that would suit me and I get quite a lot of wear out of on like a day-to-day -day basis so I think it would be a really um, a useful make that I'd wear those for work and I'd wear them going out and dress it up dress it down so yeah they're on there as well it's not like a really super exciting thing but where I'm trying to be more thoughtful about the things that I'm sewing to get more wear out of these things that's one of those sorts of makes anyway so I don't have any fabric in mind for those at the minute um, it might be something more, shall we say, boring, but again, something I'm going to wear more. Um, so yeah, landers are going to happen. Um, and just jumping back to number one, the jumpsuit, I don't have any fabrics in mind, but I'm hoping more sort of summery fabrics are going to come in. Something really drapey and pretty and summery and lovely. So um, number three, I... I'm definitely going to make a um, closet case Sophie bikini. Um, I've got all the stuff to make it and I even bought the online course. So I've been sort of dabbling in that on my lunch breaks at work. And people think I'm really weird if they like walk behind me watching these videos at work on my lunch break. Um, because I'm looking at um, essentially bra making techniques. They're like what are you doing? Um, yeah, <laughs> so um, this is another example of me trying to ram sewing into every little tiny space of free time that I get. So yeah, lunch breaks, that happens as well. So I've actually, I've bought all the stuff um, to start that. I did actually have everything towards the end of last year um, or like autumn time, but it was sort of a little bit late for getting any wear out of it so it's sort of um bumped to to this year anyway so i can get some wear out of that in the summer and um for hopefully i'm hoping to be going to a spa near here so i'm hoping to wear it there um there's this really cool like outdoor spa area that i really really want to go to so um all these little plans in my head for this year that i get excited about so um, the fabric that I've got, uh, the main shell fabric, is from So Me Sunshine and it's like a fuchsia pink colour. Actually, I'm just going to show you. Okay, I take that back. Not exactly fuchsia more hot pink I'm going to say, which I don't normally go for. Um, but it just seemed like the, um, the pattern is so girly and sort of bombshelly. I was like, oh, it's just really feminine as a bikini would be, I know, but um, I just, I was drawn to it. Um, yeah, it's just a plain, um, and if I get on well with this, the plan would be to make some more. Um, I've got my eye on some like Liberty swimwear fabric. But obviously that is mega bucks. So um, I thought I'd start with a plain and not get too ahead of myself. Um, but yeah, that's the fabric. And I think that will look really cute. Uh, okay. Going back to my list. Um, uh, yeah, another 
more practical make. I would very much like to make a Tilly and the Buttons nest skirt. Um, so I want to make the more shorter version um, because I think it would be quite a good uh, make for work because um, I quite like just tucking tops in and I think that's quite a nice work look. We're not like super formal at work, it's a little bit, um, it's quite relaxed uh, but I still like to look semi-smart because I'm a PA. Um, so having said that I do go in in jeans sometimes so that does happen and that's okay. Um, so yeah I thought a little skirt would look quite cute and girly. Um, again I don't have any fabric in mind necessarily um, but I think like the landers probably something that I'll get lots of wear out of so something not too crazy out there. Um, I'm thinking sort of denims and sort of dark maybe like black denims and things like that. Um, and then this is a little bit more of a um, occasion type garment that I really have my eye on, a Deer and Doe Magnolia dress. Um, I don't know if it do they do different versions but definitely um, maxi version if there are different versions that might just be the way it comes. Um, I think it just looks incredible and um, I don't have any like weddings or anything to wear it to but I, I just really want one so um, no fabric in mind for that one. Um, but I have bought, it's really crazy, um, I probably got it in here to show you actually. Okay, I bought a really sophisticated, a really sophisticated piece of um, underwear. So this is a wonder bra, but it's cut really low. Because um, I've made another dress where it's quite really deep cut and you can just see the piece of my bra in there. So I decided to invest in this, and it is weird, and I'm not sure if I like it, but on the other dress that I've got that's really like low cut, um, it works really well, so you can't see any bra. So I think that will be the bra of choice with the Magnolia dress as well, so um, yeah, that's sort of getting the wheels in motion for being ready to wear such a dress, just don't have any occasions. So if anyone's getting married and you would like to invite me along, then I'll have a perfect dress to wear. Um, okay, then this one has been in my mind's eye for so long, a Deer and Doe Myosotis dress. Um, I, I just love it. I know it's going to take ages, I want to make the really gathered version. Uh, yeah, I think it just looks awesome, so I think I could see me in that at like family barbecues in the summer or out with the girls um, with some like a low heel sandal uh, yeah so um, Megan from Pigeon Wishes has, has made a version that I am just in love with it's yellow and she's inspired me to get that on my Make 9 2019 so thank you Megan um, and it just looks really flattering and um, really like appropriate for the summer as well so again another one that's got me really excited about sunshine uh next one is um sort of rewind back from my excitement about sunshine uh is a sew over it or lisa comfort i'm not sure which of the branding they've gone with but the cocoon coat which came with the first edition of lisa comfort's magazine and this would be my first like proper coat. I've made a bomber jacket before but um, so this would be like using coating fabric which I've already got. Um, so I'll show you that fabric as well. <laughs> um, so this is from Ray Stitch and it's like not my normal sort of colour that I go for but I saw it on their website and I loved it. So I think the heart wants what the heart wants. So um, I've got this and um, this is on the cards for really soon because um, obviously I want to get some wear out of it. Uh, so that is going to be a cocoon coat anyway. Um, so I quite like that sort of style of coat um, just and wearing it open with a, a big scarf or something. I think that would be really nice. So that's coming up soon. 
and oh, the next one, really excited about this. So I Am Patterns have brought out a men's sweatshirt pattern um, and it's like twin to their one that's called I Am Apollon. Apollon? I'm saying that French enough? Um, so yeah, they've made a men's version and they've got a competition that they're doing as well. So I'm going to do that where for the competition you um, make the men's version uh, and gift it to your other half. So I'm going to make one for Harvey, so I'm really excited, I've never made anything for him before. Not sure how he feels about this, but, um, and I've already got the fabric, so I'll show you that as well. So I've got this sweatshirting in this gorgeous petroly, tealy colour, and it is so insanely soft on the inside. Um, it is just gorgeous quality. So I'm going to make him the main body of the jumper out of this and I think I'm going to try and source a really like charcoal-y dark grey ribbing um, for like the waistband and the cuffs and everything. So that is what I'm planning. I hope he likes that. I don't know if he's going to like it. I'd be interested to know if any of you guys sew for your other halves and if they like it. Um, yeah, I don't know if he will but anyway I'm going to do that and I'm going to make one for myself as well because I've got enough fabric. Um, so yeah, and I am Apollon for men is on there. So sorry Harvey if you don't like it, but you're gonna have a photo for the blog. It's just gonna happen. Um, and then I'm at number nine. So number nine is a, another, a little bit like the Magnolia dress, be a little bit of an occasion dress. From this book that I showed you on my last vlog, um, yeah, I've been flicking through. This has been my bedtime reading, which has been really nice. I'm going to make the cast cocktail dress. Um, and I'm going to make the butterfly sleeve version. So I'll just show you. I'll show you the little diagram on there. So this is the little diagram there. Um, oh, I think it looks beautiful. It's really cool. Uh, just sort of a little bit different with those sleeves, just as gorgeous. So I'm very excited to make that. There's a proper photo there. Um, I, hope so, I hope that's focusing. I can't even talk at the minute. I hope that's focusing. Is this what going out does to you? I can't even talk. Um, yeah, I've got, I've actually got some silk that I haven't used. Harvey bought me some silk maybe like two Christmases ago and I've not used it and how gorgeous would that look in my silk I've got it in the stash I'm going to show you hang on a second it's just a, a plain silk but um, in this insanely gorgeous blue like sort of royal blue should we call it um, and it, it's just gorgeous this came from Guthrie and Garney and yeah, this was a Christmas present, insanely expensive. Um, so definitely going to twirl that before I cut into this. Um, but yeah, won't that look really nice? So, um, look how drapey it is. It's so pretty. Do you think? It will look really nice. Those butterfly sleeves, can you imagine? Anyway, sorry, just tarting around now really. Um, so that's my make nine guys, I hope you've liked my picks anyway, um, I'm really excited about them all, I'm not going to torture myself over completing it. Like I said before, um, with my make nine 2018, I think it's cool to see what you liked a year ago and yeah it's great to make those things, I'm pleased that I, I made a few of them, um, but yeah I'm not going to not gonna kill myself if I don't make them all. Um, it's just nice to see how you've changed over the year. Anyway, um, that's me guys. So thank you so much for watching. And um, I'm well into the planning and the lists at the minute. So you'll see me again in a couple of weeks, hopefully. And maybe I'll be there with a list. Who knows? Uh, so I've got some stuff to tell you about what I'm getting up to. So I've got something cool happening today. And... Obviously I'm doing sewing so I'll be able to tell you about that. So thank you so, so much for watching guys. I'll see you all again really soon. Take care, bye!